Well, here it is, morning number two here in Montana. Beautiful morning, sun's coming up. We're just out here glassing, just kind of getting a lay of the land for the, for the morning hunt. So it is that time of year again. We are finally back to one of my favorite places, Montana. We were just in Wyoming a few weeks earlier for antelope season, and now it's time for mule deer. One reason I was really excited about this hunt is most of the time I'm the guy behind the camera. Um, I've been on so many hunts where you know, I'm usually the guy capturing everything. I, mean, I have so much fun being behind the camera. It's what I love to do. But, but this time, I was actually the guy with the tag. And we had three tags to fill, but I was the first one up to shoot. So just, that was just something I really enjoyed. I didn't have to worry about anything. I, I've got the gun, I've got the binoculars. It's my time to hunt. And it was just, that's the actual, that's the best part. Now, once again, I love being behind the camera, but when I can actually get to hunt, that nothing, no, nothing else I'd rather do, no place I'd rather be. That first encounter that we had didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to. Um, it, uh, it took a lot for us to actually find the deer because once you, when you're out west, when you're kind of set up and you go after something, if you move just a little bit, the terrain just changes. You can't remember which knoll he was on. You can't remember which canyon you were going to go through or up and over. Everything just changes, and that's exactly what happened on this particular setup. We just got to a rise, and we, did, we just couldn't find the deer, didn't know where he was. And then when we finally spotted him, he ended up being quite a ways off. And I like to get within 300 yards. That's kind of my, my range that I want to be at. And I wasn't going to take a pot shot. It was way too early in the hunt. And, um, but it was, it was a good experience. It was learning. Loved to see the animals. So it was, it was a good first day, good first part of the hunt. Let's try to find him. Uh, it's evening of day one. Um, the first encounter this morning didn't quite work out, so moved down the road just a little bit. And um, just kind of been taking this whole area, giving it a good glass for the last hour or so as the sun's been going down behind us. Um, not a lot of action, but um, they're here somewhere, so we've got a little bit of light left. We're just going to sit tight and see if something happens.
If you've never been out west hunting mule deer or antelope, you don't realize so much of the hunting is just, just moving around, walking, glassing. There's a lot of, a lot of searching that goes on. Um, takes a lot of patience to hunt mule deer, to hunt, to hunt antelope, but uh, it's, it's unbelievably rewarding. Something that I'll always remember about this hunt is everybody names their own episode. Everybody comes up with their own little name for what they, their, they want their episode to be or what they want their hunt to be. And I remember there's one particular afternoon we're sitting on top of a mountain overlooking a beautiful valley. I mean, it's sunshine. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I thought, this is what the actual hunt is all about. It's not about the animal. It's not about harvesting the animal. It's just about, I mean, when, when you're there, you don't think about work, you don't think about bills, you don't think about anything, and it's just this time of resetting and refreshing. And there I am, I'm sitting on a mountain with my two brothers and my dad, my best friends, my heroes, and I thought, this is the trophy of the hunt, right here. If this is all we had, if I don't shoot anything, if I don't see another deer, this hunt is successful. And that is why I named this episode Mountaintop Trophy. Because there I was, I was sitting on that mountain and I said, this is it. This is the trophy right here. I could go home right now and I'd be happy. That's what hunting is for me. As the days went on, I got a little bit discouraged because I knew that we had three tags to fill. And you know, we're getting in the day three, day four of the hunt, and it's just slow. I um, hadn't seen a lot of deer, um, and it takes, it's a lot of work. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of ground to cover. And I just remember, and I even had this, you know, kind of going into the hunt, but I said, the next, you know, if I get a shot on a buck, if I get, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take it. I don't need a trophy, I don't need a monster, but I'm just gonna seal the deal with a good buck. That, that was my plan. That afternoon, I actually got my wish. We were driving down the road and I actually looked out the window and I saw this buck up on this mountain looking down, kind of over the valley. And he was probably still 200 yards off, but I was like, that's a buck right there, he's staring right there, just staring at us right there. And if you've been out west hunting, or if you ever do, take this note, if you ever see an animal and they think that you might, they might be looking at you you just keep on driving. You don't stop, you don't look and glass at them, you just keep on moving. So that's what we did. We just went on down the road and we stopped and actually made a plan to say, hey, if he's actually gonna stay there, because we thought he was overlooking a doe, we're, we're actually in the middle of the rut at this point. And I was like, if he's gonna stay right there, we can actually dip down underneath and kind of go around and see if he's still there. We get to the last spot. I can actually remember this big rock on the side of the hill. And I said, if we can get up there, we should be able to see him and I should be able to take my shot from there. And we get over and he's still there. Now he's lying down, 
he's right he's kind of at this base of this big boulder kind of right on the top of the hill there and i and i get set up and i i remember the proud i'll never forget this about the hunt just that pressure of it'd been a long week and i i, I had this bad feeling that i was going to miss i don't know why um i just had that feeling all the pressure of everyone that's there watching me my brothers and my dad are there and I, I didn't I didn't want to let them down I remember this like it was yesterday and I just felt like something was gonna go wrong the deer wasn't gonna give me a good shot because he was kind of I didn't want to shoot him lying down and I, I was just nervous I was just breathing hard I remember my scope just going like this and I just had to luckily he was actually lying down because it took me a second to actually gather myself to where I just said you know what it's just me and him You got him, you got him. Yep, you got him. Here we are in southeastern Montana. This is my first mule deer hunt, and I could not be more excited. We've been going out a couple hard for a couple days. Haven't seen a lot of deer, but it's been up and down, hoping to spare, see some, keep moving, go to a new spot. And we finally found this guy in the kind of toward the evening, about three o'clock, driving through. So I'm on top of a hill, shaking out, hanging out over a doe. I was like, he's gonna stay there. Let's put a stalk on him. And we, we did, we got within 288 yards. 6.5 Creed Bar took care of him. And I mean, I couldn't be, couldn't be happier. This is absolute awesome, awesome thing. I'm blessed to come out here and do this. Nothing else I'd rather do, nobody else I'd rather be with than my brothers and my dad out here on the prairie. And I am, I'm ecstatic, I really am. <laughs>